So while we were discussing section 42 of specific effect, we saw that a suit for declaration is competent to declare right of a person as to property and to declare the legal factor. The section 42 relates to the declaration, but there is another section which is known as section 39. In this section states the circumstances when cancellation of an instrument may be ordered. In its effect, this section is also a declaration. When we seek the cancellation of document, in fact we are seeking the declaration. But there is a distinction between section 42 and 39. Section 39 relates to the declaration of legal collector and right as to property, while section 39 deals with the cancellation of an instrument which is void or voidable. If there is an instrument which is void or voidable and there also a denial of a right on account of that document, then the suit becomes a suit for declaration and cancellation. So there is no open distinction between the two. The only thing which requires is that in the first situation, when we are talking of section 42, it relates to the declaration of rights and also bars the suit when there is another relief available and the person is not going to avail it. So the proviso shall hit. But so far as section 39 is concerned, where the cancellation may be ordered under section 39 under circumstances given therein. Today we are discussing not section 42 but section 39. I am going to read the same. Any person against whom a written instrument is void or voidable who has reasonable apprehension that such instrument, if left outstanding, may cause him serious injury, may sue to have it adjudged void or voidable, and the court may, in its discretion, so adjudge it to be delivered up and cancelled. If the instrument has been registered under the Registration Act, the court shall also send a copy of the decree to the officer in whose office the instrument has been so registered. And such officer shall note on the copy of the instrument contained in his book the fact of its cancellation. So as we have seen, Section 39 has certain ingredients which are to be fulfilled for the purpose of adjudicating a document as void or voidable. This section deals with two types of instruments. Number one, those which are not valid, meaning thereby those which are void are voidable. So there are certain documents which are void and there are certain documents which are voidable. So how it is to be determined as to document is void or voidable? First of all we have to see as to document is void or voidable. The voidable documents have been enumerated in the Contact Act. So a document which is void and the option of any person who is interested to deny it is voidable at his option. And a document 
which is unlawful in its inception, is void. So there is a distinction between a void document and a void document, a voidable document. Now a question arises. If a voidable document is left unchallenged, if a voidable document is not challenged before the court and any party on whose option it is voidable accepts the same, then the voidable document need not be challenged. Voidable documents become void because when the option is exercised by the person agreed to declare it as void. So this section relates not only to the voidable documents but to the void documents also. So certain documents which are void in their inception may be challenged. But the question is that if a document is void, why should we challenge? Is there a need to challenge it? So the answer to this question is given in section 39 itself. It says that a person has apprehension that such instrument, if left outstanding, may cause serious injury. So now the question involved is that the documents which are causing serious injury are to be cancelled. In other simple words, we can say if a document is an impediment in the way of exercise of a right, so the impediment is to be removed. Even if the document is void or voidable, it may be an impediment in the way of a right of a person. And when it is an impediment in the way of a right of a person, the person has very much a right to challenge the validity of that document in the court of law. So the court shall adjudge it as void. What does it mean? Adjudge void or voidable. So it is the adjudication which is required for the purpose of determining the voidability and the existence or validity of a document. So for the purpose of determining whether an instrument should be cancelled or not, there are certain ingredients thereof. So when those ingredients are fulfilled, then the court shall adjudge the document as void. The instrument must be in writing. If there is no writing, there can be no instrument. Oral transactions are not instruments. Dialogues are not instruments. Conversation is not instrument. Negotiation is not instrument. The instrument is always in writing. So the writing may be of two types. It may be in a language, the writing may be through visible representation or through signs. When there are signs explicitly showing the existence of a written instrument, when there are visible representations representing certain things to be in writing and are evident of certain facts, those visible representations are also instruments. So when we talk that the instrument should be in writing, it means that there is a visible representation, there are signs, and there is writing in any language. It may be recorded by the hands of a person, or by the typographical way, or in any other mechanical way, or in any other scientific method. It is immaterial how this document was prepared. The only thing which requires that it is a written instrument. If it is a written instrument, then the question will arise as to whether it is void 
are voidable at the option of any person. If it is voidable at the option of any person, and the person chooses to challenge the validity thereof, he has every right to get it declared as voidable and may abstain from performing whatsoever has been given in the terms and conditions of the agreement. The agreement which is in writing also depicts certain terms and conditions and if those conditions are not binding on a person on certain accounts that 